assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer so in the, this video we are going to talk about menus and action but before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so uh, for today's our topic is uh, actions and menus uh, so in the previous videos we have already discussed about the actions and menus and the basic things that how you can add it using the debug mode and how you can add it uh, with uh, a custom module so in this uh, video we are going to create menu items and actions uh, from a custom module and uh, we will discuss uh, some of the things that we uh, didn't uh, discuss in the previous videos so action and menus are regular uh, records in database usually declared through data files actions can be triggered in three ways so basically uh, you have to define uh, actions and menus in the xml file it needs to be declared as it records so what does it means like for every uh, xml file you have to create the xml file and then inside the xml file you can define the menu items and you can also define the actions so those uh, actions and menu items will create database records at the back end so uh, uh, there are basically three ways uh, to call an action okay so first one is by clicking the menu item so when you uh, add any menu item for example if i go to the sales uh, and then uh, I go to the orders. So when I click on the quotations, a menu, uh, a, an action is being called, which display uh, this uh, view uh, in this data. And if I click on the orders, it will display the data in this view. So this is what the action is doing. And a menu item is, uh, and and click the menu item, an action is being called, which is specific to that menu item. Okay. So the second thing is to call the action through a button. So how we can do it? For example, if we go to this uh, sales order, and if we create uh, this button, which is create invoice, it will open up this form view, which means that an action is being called when we clicked on this uh, button. So this is the second way. And the third way is uh, to do it through contextual action on the object. So what is contextual action? So if you go here on any of the form view or on the tree view, you will see this action button which is called contextual action. So if you go here and uh, you can add a, a button here, and if you click on any of the contextual action button, you can call the action from that button, which you can see in this case. So these are the three ways to call an action. In this case, we will call the action through a menu item. So because menus are somewhat complex to declare, there is uh, a menu item take. So in order to declare the menu item, you need to use uh, you need to use the tag like menu item, and for action you need to use the tag record. Shortcut key to declare uh, an ir dot ui dot menu, which is the model name, and uh, connect it to the corresponding action more easily. So let me just give you an example of this menu item. So here you can see menu item id is equal to menu ideas and then parent menu is menu root so what is the parent menu you need to add it we will discuss in the video and then this is the name like you can say the label of this menu and the sequence is very important uh, let me show you for example if i click on the orders so uh, here every menu item have uh, some sequence so sequence is used uh, to show the menus in some order for example customer menu have the highest order in these uh, sequences and then the sales team um, menu and then orders and then quotation so this is the purpose is to show the the menu items in a sequence okay and then uh, action is uh, being added this parameter is used to call the action so you need to add the external id of the action like we have in this case and this is the action so uh, you need to keep in mind one thing that uh, you need to declare uh, the action before the uh, xml uh, sorry the uh, menu item because in uh, 
because data file are executed sequentially it is executed from top to bottom and the action id must be present in the database before the menu can be created so like if the file is executed from top to bottom so first the action id should be created in the database and then uh, if uh, if uh, if the database id is uh, if the action id exists in database then you uh, it will not throw an error message if you add the menu item after uh, like before uh, the action then what you will get an error message because the action will not be available in the database okay so for today's what we need to do is to define a new menu entries and define new menu entries to access courses under the open academy menu entry so we are going to create one menu at, uh, entry which will be the parent menu so for example in this case if we click on these dots so we have some parent menus like discuss contacts uh, sales dashboard invoicing and so on and then if we click on any of the parent menu we have uh, some uh, child menus like orders to invoice products reporting and then if we click on the orders you have some other uh, children which is quotation if you click on the quotation you have this data in this list view so in this case we need to add three menu items so the first one is like the sales which will be open academy and then orders which will be open academy and then quotation which will be courses okay so let me just uh, do it uh, practically so for this purpose we need to add the xml file which we have already added here you can see the xml file in this open academy module and uh, here we have some code already added so let me just uh, remove all this code okay so that we can uh, add everything from scratch like this so here what we need to do so the first thing is uh, to add uh, like just let me copy this code and then uh, add it here like this so select all the, the whole file and then uh, reformat the code like this okay uh, so here we can see this is the menu idea so here we need to add menu open academy this will be the main menu okay and here we don't need to add the parent menu because this is uh, like the main menu and here uh, we need to add the label which is open academy and then we need to add the sequence let's just uh, keep it as 10 and then we don't need action in this case because this is the parent menu so the action is only needed in case uh, like you want to display some data like the children menus okay and then uh, let me just copy this one and here we need to add it uh, so here we can make it menu open academy root and we can say this open academy uh, like menu open academy and here uh, we will add the parent menu okay parent which will be uh, this one okay and uh, the label will remain the same like name and then sequence so let me just duplicate this one so here we will make it like courses menu courses okay and then the parent will uh, be this menu and then uh, this will change to courses and we can see like first uh, again we can just keep it as uh, 10 and then the action needs to be added which will be courses uh, list action so you, you, you just need to add the action uh, id which needs to be same as this one so here this is the action so inside the action you need to add first record tag and then you need to add the model so the model should be ir.actions.act windows so actions are of different types so this is the action windows windows action which we already discussed about uh, from the debug mode and uh, you also have server actions and different uh, type of actions so here we uh, need to add the label for this action which is courses we need to add uh, like the model so here we have already added the model which is uh, this one uh, let me just copy it and 
paste it like this so here we need to add the view mode uh, so we can add a uh, different view modes like tree view form view kanban view uh, like uh, and activity view so for the time being we will just uh, add tree view and then form view the next thing we need to do is to call add this uh, view file inside this uh, like the uh, in this uh, manifest file so which is already added this is it and uh, this is it so we just need to uh, uh, upgrade this module so let me just restart our service and then go to apps okay let me just check restarted apps refresh okay and search for the app which is open academy and upgrade it okay so i hope so it will upgrade successfully and if you got any error message we will uh, discuss about it so it has been upgraded successfully and then uh, let me just show you if the menu items has been added so let me just uh, refresh the page okay so the page has been refreshed and let me click here so here we could we cannot find the menu items that we have added so let me just show you if it has been added or not so if you go to the technical and then uh, go to menu items and here if we search for open academy so here you can see the menu items has been added here is the sub menus and this is the sub menus so the menu items has been added already but we cannot see it what is the reason the reason is because we have not added the access rights for this model which is uh, open academy dot course so the normal user don't have access to the models or the records that uh, for which the access right not are not defined so for the time being we need to use the super admin which we can activate from here like first you need to activate the developer mode and then you can activate that uh, super user so the super user will uh, give us the access to the models uh, where we like for which we have not yet uh, created the access right so if we click here you can see the open academy menu item is appearing here so and here we can see the course menu is also here and here you can, you can see if we click on the create so you can create uh, the course and here is the description like uh, you can see uh, how to 16 technical course and here we can add uh, some photo 16 technical course by photo discussions and here you can add description okay so this is how you can uh, add it and just you need to save it like this this is it if you go here back you can see the tree view so this is how easily you can add the menu items and uh, you can add uh, the actions and you can link the menu item with the action so let me just increase uh, the the action like the menu sorry uh, the main menu uh, let me increase the sequence by 100 uh, okay and upgrade the module again so we will see what is the output so currently it is showing is the, the first menu so if we upgrade it uh, again you will see the menu item will uh, appear down uh, according to the sequence that we have added so let me just refresh the page after the module upgrade and here you can see you now at the open academy module menu item is just after the project module because its uh, sequence is greater than the object module uh, object menu and project menu and then it's less than email uh, marketing 
So this is how the sequence is working. We will keep it as 10. So uh, this is it for this uh, video and uh, in order to get the updates of the upcoming videos so you need to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming video so don't forget to like this video thank you